Our first reading comes from the book of First Chronicles, chapter 14, verses 10 to 16. First Chronicles, chapter 14, verses 10 to 16. And we read, And David inquired of God, Shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you give them into my hand? And the Lord said to him, Go up and I will give them into your hand. And he went up to Baal Perazim. And David st struck them down there. And David said, God has broken through my enemies by my hand, like a bursting flood. Therefore the name of the place is called Baal Perazim. And they left their gods there, and David gave command, and they were burned. And the Philistines yet again made a raid in the valley. And when David again inquired of God, God said to him, You shall not go up after them. Go around and come against them opposite the Baal, some trees. And when you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the Baal, some trees, then go out to battle. For God has gone out before you to strike down the army of the Philistines. And David did as God commanded him, and they struck down the Philistines' army from Gibeon to Gezer. There ends our reading. My name is Ngendo Kefisho, and I love Christ as my Lord and Savior. Thank you. I praise God. My name is Ajen Mugure. Our second reading is coming from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 10. Matthew, the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 10. And if you're there, we read together. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Search me, O oh God, my actions try, and let my life appear. As seen by thine all-searching eye, to mine my ways make clear. Such all my thoughts, the secret springs, the motives that control. The chambers where polluted things hold emperor the soul. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Indeed, it is our lives, our lifestyles should always be giving glory to God. And when we sing, no matter how in tune or out of tune we are, God should receive the glory. And when music is done the right way, Everything about it gives glory to God and communicates with God and helps us to listen to God. I am Reverend Don Gekandi. Christ is Lord. He has been with me. Um, and I thank him for giving me that opportunity. Today, in our singing, in our lifestyles, we are talking about inquiring from God. And our first reading from the Chronicles, the first Chronicles chapter 14, verse 10 to 16, and the second from Matthew chapter 6, verse 10, are just together reminding us it's about God and his will. It's about God and his will. David was knowledgeable, but he inquired from the Lord his God. from him. And what I like about um, the reading we just read is that he actually inquired twice. He did not even say, the God who had told me this might say it again, let me just do it. Never tire to inquire from God. Never tire to seek the will of God. Never tire on and never lead yourself. It's all about God. It's all about his will. Just inquire from God. When we pray, when we sing, do we even keep quiet to listen? Or do we just give God a list of 
give me this, give me this, I don't have this, I had asked for this. But do we listen? Do we wait to be told, do this or don't do this? David inquired from God. And he did it. Um, we see that in verse 10, and David inquired of, inquired of God. And, and David again inquired of God. Keep inquiring from God and silence your busy thoughts. Silence your worries. Listen from God. Listen to that which the Lord wants of you and do his will. And that's why when we had our second reading in a part we all know very well, and every time we say the Lord's Prayer, we say the thirst, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And that's why even as uh, I was singing in that prayer to God, that search me, O God, and my actions try. Search all my thoughts, the secret springs. It's all about his will. So today, just take a moment and be silent before God. Take your thoughts captive, obedient unto Jesus Christ. We see that in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. And just listen. Just listen. Don't be a busy body doing everything. Just listen. He may not speak the way you want him to, but he will indeed communicate. And when he does, obey like David did. He had his own issues, but David knew how to listen to God. And when Christ taught us this prayer, and it was indeed to help us that to do the will of God, it may be difficult and painful, but let's do the will of God all the days of our lives. Let us honor God in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look on you with favor and give you his peace, the peace of the Lord that surpasses all understanding. As you do his will, as you inquire of the Lord, may the Lord lead you all the days of your life. May you be cleansed with the blood of Jesus in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, I'm so